stop. It's mean. <laughs> Look, I was trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to do a splash dance. <laughs> the face animation is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ew. And I'm like, cut it out. Stop my sensitivity. <laughs> Let's talk about Skull Forts. Quite literally the best PvP experience this game has ever seen, until they replicated it several times and has now simply become a loot pinata. However, with free loot available, let's discuss some tactics behind how to approach and complete a fort efficiently. When approaching a fort, it's important to know that forts are guarded by nearly 360 degrees of cannon fire. Whether on towers or fort walls, an active fort will always have skeletons firing at your approach. Knowing this, it becomes imperative that you get to a safe place as soon as possible and out of the line of sight from any attack. Generally, it would be my advice that you find any obvious blind spots that some forts will have and park your boat there. Otherwise, parking directly under or between towers is often your best bet, since the cannons are placed high enough in the towers that parking close keeps them from firing at your ship. This becomes especially important in the event PvP were to arrive or there happens to be tuckers on the fort where they may exploit poor boat positions and use those very cannons against you. Now that you're in position, you'll find that each fort will have a series of waves that you'll need to defeat with the last few waves being the hardest and ending with a boss fight. Each wave will consist of a random set of skellies, all with varying mechanics to consider. The type of skellies that you'll encounter are regular, plant, gold, and shadow. While I'm sure it goes without saying, regular skellies are weak against anything. Whereas plant skellies are weak against swords, but heal standing in water or rain. Following that, gold skellies are weak against gunfire and firebombs, and rust if you pour water on them. And finally, shadow skellies are invulnerable to all damage until you raise your lantern against them. The tactics I recommend using to clear waves quickly and efficiently are to gather the waves together and use the barrel bombs surrounding the island as well as the ones skellies will sometimes spawn with or firebomb the group for damage over time. Though it should be said that saving a few barrel bombs for keg plays on approaching enemy ships is very highly recommended. You can refer to my loot run video in the notification above or in the link down below for more details. Once you've cleared all the skelly waves, the boss phase will start, and even though there's a chance of getting three separate bosses, each boss has the same ability set as the others. The boss will either spawn a large skeleton army, aimbot you with his pistol, slam the ground, hitting and pushing everyone away, and the crowd favorite, the rage-inducing blunderbuss guaranteed to one-tap you nearly every single time. Now that you've defeated the boss, double-check to make sure there aren't any incoming ships or tuckers on the island. A dead giveaway will be a floating mermaid in the water. Once you are sure the coast is clear, it's time to pick up the key and reap your reward. Now that you're one step closer to being a true pirate legend, it's time you go out there and test your metal with what you've learned. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can always be notified of any upcoming videos. We stream regularly on Twitch at twitch.tv slash copiousjack with all our links located down below. And remember, it's not about the gold, it's about the glory.